Hello, you might notice that during this video and the different scenes my clothing or appearance will change. This is largely because of my bad back at the moment and I can't always film everything in one go. So I know the continuity is terrible but just have to bear with me until I'm better. Anyway, roll titles! <laughs> I'm Kip Higgs and in today's video we are going to be recapping a Nintendo Game Boy DMG. Now if you don't know what recapping basically means, it's that inside the Nintendo Game Boy there are electrolytic capacitors and over time they fail and in the worst case their electrolytes can actually drain out and damage the board. So what I'm going to do is replace them with shiny new capacitors. So this has got another 30 odd years of life in it. Now you can buy capacitor kits online. I got one from a great eBay seller. I'll put his link in the description. And basically this gives you all the capacitors you need and a nice handy diagram showing you where to replace them. As you might have seen, I've done a video where I've been cleaning up my Game Boy and I needed to remove the circuit board. So here is one of the circuit boards. This is the one that the cartridges slot into, there. And uh, the electrolytic capacitors are dotted around here. And also we've got this separate board here and here, which also have capacitors on. Now to make my life easier, I'm actually going to desolder these two boards so I can do them as separate entities. So to desolder them, I'm actually gonna use a new tool that I've got. Now I did make a whole video about this tool and basically the camera crashed and I lost all the footage. So it kind of all went wrong. So here it is. And this is a Weha desoldering iron and it's a model number 929DV. And basically it has got a solder tip on the end there that's very hot and it's got a tiny little hole on it as well and that sucks up the solder. And to suck up the solder, all you need to do is press this button here. And it's like a normal solder sucker and a soldering iron merged together. Now you can get those fancy, more expensive irons that Stead Sticks Fix has got and My Mate Vince has got, but I'm going with this for now because it costs about 40 quid. Yeah, first job before we change any capacitors is just separate those boards so we don't have them sort of dangling around by wires and hopefully, this should be perfect for that job. Well, we'll see. So I've got the microscope here, so you can see what's going on. And uh, fingers crossed, it should all work. Now you can see I've cheated a bit with this one because I've actually do, done, desoldered the inside and outside connectors already. I just wanted to make sure that this was working at an, uh, the right temperature and stuff. So uh, let's just do the middle two connections. And then you wait for it to melt a bit and then you fire. And there we go, that sucked the solder away. So let's just do it on this last one here. And wait a second, and fire! You have to say that, and fire, or else it doesn't work. Okay, so we've not completely removed all the solder. So let's just give it another run round, put it on top, and fire! Give it another go, and fire! Oh, hang on, I can feel it going. So this little board is now removed, so we can replace the two capacitors at the end. But before we do that, we've got to remove the solder from these guys. That's the only problem, you have to remember to reset the pump each time. Fire! Beautiful, oh I can see I haven't got it all there. No, that might just be enough. It's very satisfying and therapeutic doing this. Now obviously you don't have to do this step, you can just leave the board connected, but I think it's just going to make it a little bit easier. There we go. Those guys come away. Now just need a little bit more persuasion. There we go, lovely stuff. Those connectors have come off really nicely. I'll just give this a bit of a clean with IPA before I put it all back together. But now we've got these two little boards that we can replace the capacitors on. So um, let's start with this guy, which is the DC converter board apparently. Actually, something that's really important with these 
with these capacitors are, they have a right and wrong way around to install them. Now as you can see on the edge of this one, it's got a little minus symbol and a white stripe and that means it's the negative and the other side is the positive. Now sometimes the board is actually marked negative and positive, but it's not actually marked on this one. So I've got to remember that the negative is facing this red guy. Damn it, helps if you press the fire button. Nice. Nice, look, there's our capacitor. <laughs> now that is a 33 UF 25 volt capacitor. And the, uh, the bags from this guy are really handily broken down into what boards they are. So this is for the jack and DC boards. So I've got to find a 33 UF 25 volt capacitor. And I do believe this is our guy. 33 UF, 25 volts. Because I know that the space is fairly limited where this is going into, there we go, negative facing the red. I think what I'm going to do is bend it down so it's flush with the board. And we'll just splay the legs slightly. There we go. Right, I've got a bit of this which is solder flux and it basically helps the solder flow a bit better. So we'll stick a little bit of that on. And then we just got to solder the, next, solder the capacitor on. Perfect. There we go, one capacitor replaced. All we need to do now is just give the little legs a trim with the cropper and it's done. And then just for good measure, we'll just give it a little clean with some IPA to get rid of the excess flux. Perfect, job done. Well, I say job done, job done on this board. Now we've got to do this board, which is the DMG jack board. But thankfully on this one, the positive sides are marked, so that makes our job a bit easier. So let's get the desoldering gun and desolder this mother hubbard. Before I do that, I need to know which caps go where. Oh, okay, they're both the same caps. It doesn't really matter. C1 and C2 are 100 UF at 6.3 volts. Easy. Get our solder sucker. Oh, had a bit of a misfire on that one. Right, okay, new capacitors are on. Little squirt of flux everywhere. I think I'm being slightly over generous with the solder. But they're on. Yeah, okay. Maybe need to learn to use less solder, but hey, it's a learning experience. So therefore, I've recapped those two boards. Now I think rather than show you me recapping every single cap, I think what is probably best for me to do is uh, start on the other boards and um, just speed through it. I might make a note of which cap goes on each board as well, so you know. Um, but yeah, there's just like a lot of caps to replace and there's no point in you sitting watching them all. Okay, so this is the CPU board. It's the one with the cartridge slot on. And on here we've got to replace C1, C3, C4, C5, C6 and C7. And I've marked them on the screen with the values that they are. So if you want to do this yourself, then just pause this and note them down. Anyway, I'll be back in a second when I've replaced those. Okay, there we have the finished board. Now it doesn't look too much different from how it did before, but trust me, it is. It's got some nice shiny new capacitors. 
Right, up next, it's the LCD board. This one is slightly more complex and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do some of these capacitors. Now let me hold it on the screen and uh, put up there what all the capacitors are. You can pause if you like. So we've got these three capacitors here that are relatively easy to do, but the problem is this bunch of capacitors here, they basically lie underneath the LCD screen. Now, I don't really want to remove the screen. It is a bit of a ball ache and I don't want to damage it in the process. So what I might well do is actually snip the legs of the capacitors and solder new capacitors onto the legs. That might be something I'd do, or I might just leave those five for now. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I just don't really want to remove the screen. I might do a couple like that and see how they go. Maybe these two here and see if it works and if it does continue, but if not, leave the other three. I think that might be the way forward, but yeah, I don't want to damage the screen because it works pretty well. And I don't think my soldering is good enough to remove the screen. But yeah, we'll give those two a try. But anyway, I'm going to get started on these three here. Again, you don't really need to see me doing them, but um, yeah, I'll just quickly do those and then we'll look at these two properly. Okay, so I've done those three, which were relatively easy to do. Now I'm looking at C10, where I've snipped the legs off and I'm gonna try and reattach a new capacitor to those legs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it for the other four. This just feels like a lot of faff um, and I'm a bit scared that it's gonna go wrong. So let's just give these little leggy bits a tin. Right, and here is the replacement capacitor and I'm just gonna try and tin these guys. Okay, so now it's time to attach the new capacitor with its tinned legs to the tinned legs of the old capacitor and join them together. Well, that's one leg sort of tacked on. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it should work. You know what, I'm gonna do the other one in a similar way, but you don't need to watch that because it's just exactly the same, just the opposite way around. So uh, back in a mo. Yeah, it's not gonna win any beauty awards, but you know, you can see what I was trying to achieve. Now, yeah, there are three more caps similar to this, but I'm just gonna leave those for now um, because this has taken quite a while, um, but it should be the board recap. So I guess what we've got to do is get everything back together again and make sure it works. Okay, well, it is the next day. I'm here with my lovely Kip Hakes hoodie and my Kip Hakes mug. Go to merch.kiphakes.tv if you want to get in on the action. There's some amazing Christmas merch that is on the store now. I'll be doing a video on that hopefully when I get my hands on it and uh, I'm very much looking forward to sharing it with you. Puddle have done an amazing job with it and it is just, so yeah, anyway. I'm hopeful that it'll work. I think I've done everything correctly. I checked and double checked when I was putting the capacitors in that they were the right way around and the connections were good. So hopefully the cap kit has gone on nicely, but we won't know until we put it all back together. So, um, hmm, exciting times. Right, it's the moment of truth. Has the cap kit worked? Will it switch on? Gonna have to try it with this game. Absolute legend of a game, isn't it? That's in. Ooh. Speed run! Ah! Uh. Oh.
I'm so pleased that the cap kit has worked and it was relatively easy to do. Those caps behind the screen were a bit of a ball ache to do and obviously I didn't do all of them, but you know, I might go back and do them at some future point, but I've done the bulk of it. I'm so pleased, I'm so happy. I hope you've enjoyed the video on this cap kit. It's been a little bit different for me and I hope you've enjoyed something a little bit different too. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.